It's, it's obviously been hard to come by runs, especially this year, and um, I think it's, it's just nice to have that confidence to be able to go out there, the backing from the team, coaches, um, everyone sort of makes you feel at home, makes you go out there and, and do what we do sort of in training and on a daily basis. Um, so to have that confidence was, uh, and backing from the team was just, uh, made me feel so, so at home and yeah, helped me a lot through you, that innings. You looked as if you'd been coming back into form, nice innings up, up, up at the Oval and then a very important contribution at Cardiff on Friday night. Have you felt yourself that, that uh, you're taking your game to a, to a new level? Uh, hopefully, I think it's, it's always been a rough start, but um, as you said, it's, it's starting to get a little bit better and I'm feeling better at the crease. It's, those nerves are going sort of as, as I'm walking out. So um, I think it's all about confidence, getting that back and hopefully pushing on from, from this innings here and, and the result as well. Are you doing anything different? No, I've, always, I've had a few chats with um, with, with various players and, and coaches which, which have been vital and I think that shows the importance of sort of the overseas we have and um, especially older players like Trez and trying to take as much as I can off them and, and their knowledge of the game because I think everyone that's played cricket has been through a, a sort of rough patch and it's about how you get out of it and how you can come back stronger I guess so hopefully this is a, a stepping block to getting back to back to normal I least say but um, <laughs> We'll see. You came out to bat in the middle of the 14th over when Somerset were really struggling. It looks like we, we would struggle to put 150 on the ball. What was going through your mind? What was your approach to that innings? Well, I didn't start too well with a mix up with Smeedy, but um, I, I sort of felt a bit of responsibility after that. And he'll say it was, it was his fault and I'll say it was mine, but um, I think the way we want to go about things is just be positive. And um, I, the way I looked at it was get myself in and then sort of go from there. Uh, luckily a few came off the middle and um, saw the inning just got start, started rolling from there, so um, yeah, it was really nice. And, and how difficult was it timing the ball on that pitch? Um, I think I saw it was a bit tricky, um, obviously with, with the calibre that Gloucester have and they've been a brilliant T20 team for the last five, six or ten years, so um, it, it's always tough, especially against a quality opponent like that, but I think the wicket made it a little bit harder, but it's once you were in, it was one of those where I thought it sat up for you and you could put the bad balls away. Um, but as we saw at the end there with, with Brooksy and, and Greener, it was exceptional the, the work they did and saw us, saw us home and saw the game out, which was incredible, especially with Cobain uh, hitting them as he was, so is that this, was nice to see. Is, is this the best you've ever batted in this form of the game? I think definitely in this form of the game. Um, I'm not, not too sure about overall, but definitely this form of the game and it's nice to be able to have spectators back and sort of do it in front of them because I think I've let them down a few times <laughs> this year especially, so um, it was nice to sort of have that, that backing from the crowd which is always brilliant here and we, we sort of thrive off that, especially at home games, so that was, yeah. And a win nice. against the old enemy, the, the Gloucesters, that must make yeah. it even more <laughs> special. I, I think it does, but um, if we take that away from it, they're, they're a quality side and we've been on the back end of games. Um, at their place, at our place, so um, we just came to this game looking to play the way we've been playing all tournament and uh, we did that, so just, yeah, it was a really, really good team performance as well. And word about the bowlers, you, you've mentioned mm -hmm. Jack Brooks bowling that magnificent 19th over. Yeah, he's getting better with age, isn't he? No, <laughs> um, no Brooksy, I'm delighted for him as well because he's been working long and hard through the winter and especially in the summer, start of the summer as well, he's been nailing his Yorkers and we saw today under pressure he's come out and sma smashed six of them so um, excellent from him and, and Greener as well, sort of come in not expecting to bowl four overs to be to be called upon and getting the key wicket at Phillips and um, yeah it was, was tremendous from him as well.